Hey you guys, what's up? It's Sid and welcome back. Um, I'm super, super excited for today's video. You probably noticed from the intro that I am at a hotel or you didn't and you just think I live at a really cool place. I really love taking trips for myself. If that's just weird to you, then sorry. So I thought I would take advantage of my bathroom situation and also film a video that I've been wanting to film for a long time, which is my updated makeup routine. I've definitely switched some things since my last makeup video. I thought it'd be fun to do like a summer based makeup. This is makeup that should like stay on throughout the day. It gives good SPF protection and is very glowy and dewy and perfect for summer. I flooded the bathroom by the way. <laughs> no, like I, I didn't realize that I had to close the curtain inside the shower and I accidentally did it on the outside and then I stepped out and it was like a pool in the bathroom. I did fix it though, like I'm not like that. So I'm gonna start out my makeup with my Maria Badescu facial spray. This has aloe and chamomile in it. Um, facial sprays really get to me because half the time I'm like, does it do anything at all? Or is it just a gimmick? I'm thinking the second option, but I do it anyways. I recently decided to try and start drinking milk again, like normal cow milk, and this is what happened. I broke out so bad from it. Like I didn't think it would matter that much, but first things first, I am going to moisturize. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Gel Moisturizer. I'm gonna use my SPF. I've used the brand Supergoop for a while, but I recently started trying out the stick version. This is the glow stick. In the best way possible. It feels like I'm putting butter on my skin, but in the best way, like it feels very, Nice, I feel like that just made it sound bad. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. And then I'm taking my It Cosmetics brush. This is the all over brush. And I'm just blending it in to my skin. This just gives me the lightest bit of coverage and also just kind of like color to my skin because sometimes I feel like my face tanner just doesn't match up to my body tan and it looks concerning. Okay, I think that is good enough. Good enough is my new catchphrase. I'm then taking my little mini Tarte Shape Tape. Why did I get the mini version? Um, because I thought it looked cute. Is it cost effective to do that? No. No, it's not. I like to use this on my pimples and red spots. And then I take the other end of my brush from A Cosmetics and use this for my pimples. Um, also, as we already discussed, I have been doing this too, which doesn't really do much because it's kind of hard to conceal. Something I honestly don't think I've even spoke about with you guys is that I suffer from quite bad back acne. It's gotten better in the past year, but it made me so insecure, especially last year. I would really refrain from wearing like open back things or I would like cover my hair behind it. I have done a few things that have helped my back acne a lot. So if any of you guys like struggle with that and want me to like talk about it more in depth, definitely let me know. Now I'm going to conceal my under eyes. Um, and I'm gonna use the same concealer and I just put it on the back of my hand. And then I go ahead and I mix this Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer just to lighten it up a little bit. Now at this point, my makeup is looking very dewy and glowy, which I love. I'm gonna use some pressed powder just to kind of set everything. I usually use a different brush, but I forgot it at home. But this is a Charlotte Taylor, Taylor <laughs> This is a Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. If you have watched me before, I have been using this for like a year now, I think. As for conceal, er, 
contour. God, I can't talk today. As for contour, I'm using this stick contour. This is by Persona. I'm just taking it and doing a little carve out of my cheekbones. Ooh, that was bad. I also like to do a few dots along the sides of my forehead. And then I just kind of blend it with my fingers. Next up is something very crucial to my routine recently, which has been my Rare Beauty blush. This is a cream blush and it just looks like this. This blends so nicely into my skin. Especially for the summer, I do like to focus on the blush. I feel like the blush is the main point of my makeup. I like to take a little bit and put it on my lips. Um, I just like having a similar lip color to my cheeks, so it's cohesive. I'm going in with this Sugar Chapstick by Fresh Beauty. To finish off my face makeup, I am going to take my Glossier Future Do. This is a liquid highlight and I just take a tiny bit of it and I put it on my brow bones and cheekbones. Now for my brows, I'm going to be using my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I don't even know what's called that. big eyeshadow girl but recently i've been kind of experimenting so i'm using this little charlotte tilbury pillow talk palette and i'm taking this shimmery champagne gold color right here and i'm just gonna apply a little bit to my lids really quickly i'm just going to use my tartlet and bloom palette and then I'm just gonna take this chocolate brown color right here with my angled brush. And what I like to do is create a tiny little wing, but what I like about this is it's super subtle. So it's not like a blunt dark black liquid liner. I'll just drag it onto my lash line. To finish everything off, I'm going to curl my lashes. You guys already know what mascara I'm using. This is the Last Sensational Maybelline Waterproof Mascara. I'm, I'm not even gonna try, sorry. I'm just gonna do it over here. And there you have it, folks. There is my everyday makeup for summer. Thank you for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.